I've said this for years, but this is Microsoft's game plan. This is their end game. They're not just focusing on beating the PlayStation 5 out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Xbox Series X. And we're gonna discuss an article that I saw the other day about Microsoft saying that there's not gonna be any Xbox Series X exclusives for at least the first year to two years. Now, at first glance of reading the headline, I was pretty upset because this is the issue that we had last time around with the Xbox One is the fact that there was not any exclusive games. But in the age we live in, there's over sensationalized titles as well as clickbait and whatnot. And this is far from true. So to give you guys the actual facts of what they mean by no exclusives for the first year to two years, this is what they mean. And what's funny is it's in the actual article, but they still clickbaited the headline and it made me fall for it. But according to the actual quote from the head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty, it says, as our content comes out over the next year to two years, all of our games, sort of like PC, will play up and down that family of devices. We want to make sure that if someone invests in an Xbox between now now in the series x that they feel they've made a good investment and were committed to them with content so all this means is let's say halo infinite comes out on the series x it's also going to be playable on the xbox one series of consoles so literally all this means is they're doubling down on their investment to xbox play anywhere xbox is turning into a platform rather than a console and it's not going with the closed ecosystem that the playstation has adopted for years so before you get your pitchfork and torches this doesn't mean the xbox is not going to release any exclusives they're still going to have their first party titles all this means is there's not going to be platform exclusive xbox series x games so if they release something that's brand new like the new hellblade it's also going to work on the xbox one s the x and the original xbox as well as the series x and of course it'll be available on the windows 10 pcs i've said this for years but this is microsoft's game plan this is their end game they're not just focusing on beating the playstation 5 out they're focusing on competing with with Steam, Origin, Ubisoft, Uplay, and the Epic Game Store. This is their goal with the new Xbox consoles, and especially with the rumored Windows mode that'll support the Epic Game Store as well as Steam, and of course, Project X Cloud. They're trying to be a platform. They're trying to be the biggest platform for games instead of just a console platform. They wanna be available on every single device, and that is the future of Xbox. Now, whether or not it's gonna play in their favor is the question that we can ask ourselves. Now, that begs the question, what is the reason that I I should own an Xbox Series X. And that's the problem that Microsoft is gonna have yet again. Without exclusive games, they're not gonna be able to sell their console as well as Sony will, and that's just a fact. So unless there's some sort of lucrative reason that people should go out and buy a Series X, the console sales are always gonna do worse than the Sony PlayStation 5. Unless, of course, the Xbox Series X is a remarkable piece of hardware that is a thousand times better than the PS5, as well as features some awesome hardware and software improvements that the PlayStation just won't or doesn't have. Previously, with the Xbox One, they banked on cross-platform play as well as backwards compatibility. But now that PlayStation is all about crossplay, as well as backwards compatibility with the PS2, the PS3, and the PS4, it's gonna be a tough sell for a lot of consumers, especially with their branding and the marketing that they have for this console. Obviously, once the official reveal happens, we're gonna know a lot more and we can actually judge both systems and compare the two. But at the moment right now, Microsoft is kind of putting themselves in a very difficult position. It's almost like not having platform exclusives on the Xbox Series X launching on the day of release is probably not going to do very well, especially since people can just, you know, play it on Xbox One X or Xbox One or even PC. It's almost like they're deliberately putting themselves on the back foot and are not really focused on like fully competing with PlayStation. I think they want to coexist for the time being until cloud streaming really takes off. You guys already see that Xbox Game Pass is one of the best purchases for any gamer to make right now. I think it adds the most value for anybody. So if you haven't gotten Game Pass, definitely get it. I strongly recommend it, but this is what they're doing. They're putting all of their efforts toward Xbox Game Pass so that they could be the one exclusive streaming service and really usher in that new generation of gaming that is a deviceless experience. So think about Xbox Game Pass essentially becoming the Netflix of gaming. And make no mistake, that is their end goal. That is their end game for Xbox. It's going to be a while, but it'll happen eventually. And it's going to be the same boom that we saw when Blockbuster all went out of business and Netflix took over the streaming market. But one of the big sellers for people that purchase Netflix are their Netflix originals. And if Xbox wants to continue being a viable streaming service, they're going to have to do that with original content. That's the reason Netflix is so popular. That's why every 
every single person in America pretty much has a Netflix subscription. So if Xbox really wants to take it to the next level, they have to commit to first party game developers creating original content on their Xbox streaming service. If that's going to be through Project X Cloud or, you know, Xbox Game Pass. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is the fact that people don't have to instantly choose where they want to buy a console or where they want to buy their games. It could slowly bring people back to the Xbox platform because at the end of the day, giving consumers choice is going to put them in good favor with you and give them more reason to purchase your products in the future. I feel like them being the consumer friendly underdogs is only going to play in their favor. It might not help them at the start, but it'll definitely have a long term effect that will benefit them in the future. I feel like Microsoft putting most of their focus on the future of gaming and, you know, kind of future proofing their business is actually going to benefit them a lot more than PlayStation. I feel like right now, PlayStation is just kind of doing business as usual. They're going to release their console, have some killer games at the launch, you know, with exclusive content, and then they're going to continue to kind of win this console cycle for now. But as soon as streaming becomes the mainstream source of gaming, you're going to see Xbox shoot all the way up at the top and be the number one platform for gaming. And you guys can quote me on that. But that's going to wrap it up with this video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Will you be picking up an Xbox Series X or are you going to wait about a year and a half until the Series X exclusive games come out? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on and do all the other stuff that YouTube makes you do. And until next time, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Oh, thank you.